Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Uh, <laughs> the Lost World. Sequel to Jurassic Park, also directed by Steven Spielberg. Uh, as you can see, this is Ian Malcolm, portrayed by actor Jeff Goldblum. Um, I have to say, and this is me judging it for the first time, I have to say that the transfer on the Lost World looks even better. Maybe I need to bring my camera a little bit closer just to show you. Look at his leather jacket and his hair and you'll see just how much of that bit rate you are getting, how much of that sharpness and detail you are getting. By the way, this video is going to be recorded in native 4K for 10 minutes. Let me pull my GoPro Hero 6 camera out of this uh, tripod, let me show you. By the way, I am using the Xbox One X 4K player. By the way, the Xbox One X 4K player looks outstanding. Don't listen to salty haters. Xbox One X 4K player, it's an excellent 4K player. Trust me. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, the reason uh, I brought my GoPro Hero 6 camera so close to my 65-inch Samsung KS8000, which is right over here, television, look at that leather jacket. Look just how much detail and, and color that HDR is outputting. Look at that, that detail of that bit rate. People ask me, why do you want to go with a 4K HDR format instead of the Blu-ray. First of all, Blu-ray cannot handle the bitrate that 4K UHD HDR can. They are encoded to a higher bitrate. That means that picture will be much better in detail because you're already compressing that 2K intermediate into a 4K. So you already have that 8.3 million pixels here with a higher bitrate, meaning that image will be much sharper. Considering this was shot in 35 millimeter camera, the same camera used in Saving Private Ryan, Schindler's List, and all the other Jurassic Park. Uh, and here, as you can see, the HDR is doing its job. Look how well it's representing that jacket from Ian Malcolm. Uh, that's the character Ian Malcolm, uh, played by the great Jeff Goldblum. He's going to be coming back with Jurassic World. Uh, what was it? The Fallen Kingdom or something like that. Uh, so can't wait for that movie. But look at look at this leather jacket. Just look how detailed it is. Just look at that. Now, please do keep in mind this video. It's not a comparison. I will do a comparison, Lost World, Blu-ray versus 4K video separate. This is just me giving you my first look into the 4K version. It's gonna take a while for me to compare and check all these movies, there's four of them. So, yeah, this is a great transfer. Uh, and I remember this movie vividly. I've seen it many times. Uh, this is definitely the best version of The Lost World. Just me looking at this one scene, I can tell you that this is the best version that you can get right now. If you have your old uh, DVD or, or your Blu-ray version, forget about that Blu-ray version, I'm telling you, the HDR here and that higher bitrate will help, especially if you're using a Belkin HDMI 2.1 ultra high-speed cable that I am using as well. Now let's go check out some other scenes as well. Now even in this scene, the camera is being focused directly onto Jeff Goldblum and then the background, it's out of focus. But even the background that's out of focus, HDR here is doing its job. It's giving you th that depth of vision, you know, that, that deep, deep three-dimensional depth of vision. And that's what the high dynamic range really does well here. Okay, let's go into a, uh, another scene really quick. Now, this movie pretty much has that same feel and style that Yanis Kaminsky used on Saving Private Ryan. It has a little bit of that gritty grain 
uh, look to it. But it looks very vivid. Now, that grain is going to be there. You know, there's nothing we can do about that. That was a filmmaker intent. All right. That's why it's there. Same thing goes with a die hard. That grain, it's always going to be there. But this is a vivid, vivid, vivid sharp detail of that grain. And HDR here changes everything. Okay. Watching this on HDR, it's almost like you're watching a brand new movie. And even here, you can see the benefit of that HDR. You know, the, the characters becomes more lifelike. Everything becomes more natural. And this is what HDR does. And this is why the 4K HDR, it's better than the Blu-ray, obviously. The higher resolution, higher bit rate. And then you add high dynamic range on top of that. Not to mention the Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. This is the reason why you want to go with a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray version. This is no-brainer. I shouldn't even have to explain this to you as to why. Not to mention you 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 get copy of a Blu-ray disc with every 4K movie for the price of what you pay. And even here, even here in this scene, in the background, they're looking at the uh, engine. Uh, that's the name of the company, Engine Helicopters. They're right behind uh, Ian Malcolm right there. That's his daughter. And then, of course, we all know who that actress is. Agents Carlise. <laughs> Juliana Moore, obviously. But even here, you can see the HDR and a higher bit rate adds to more of a detail. Meaning that you will experience this movie in a better, better detail. And even here we can see uh, the HDR bringing that color to life and, and sharpness detail. Alright, so let's go and check the dinosaurs. Because you guys want to see how the dinosaurs look on this uh, 4K uh, transfer. Let's do that really quick. And even here, look at here on that Jeep, on that Mercedes Jeep, or that, I'm sorry, the Mercedes uh, SUV. Look at the detail you see on that rain, on that light. The HDR with that higher bit rate and 4K resolution just brings this movie, it's, it's much cleaner. Like the scenes and the movie looks much cleaner here. And even here, just look at the detail on that T-Rex. Just look how much of detail you see. That's because of that HDR and that higher bit rate and 8.3 million pixel that was uh, mastered here for this movie. And a movie like this that's what uh, 23 years old or something like that that's a very old movie. Uh, look just how much of better detail do you get here the lost world looks really good man they did a, I, th I think they did a better job than they did on jurassic park but the lost world really looks good now jurassic park looks great for a 1993 movie okay i don't care what anybody else says but this is really even better the lost world it's even better in terms of the restoration they did here even here, look at this scene, for example. Uh, maybe I can bring my camera closer before I end this video just to show you something really quick. Just look at that detail, man. That's that higher bit rate. I look like a Hulk, don't I? That's that higher bit rate and that HDR. Look at all this detail that you see, man. It's just ridiculously sharp and amazing. There. I wanted to bring a little bit closer so you guys can see it. So yes, uh, The Lost World looks excellent for a movie that's, uh, what, 23, 24 years old. I think 23 years old. That looks pretty darn good. This is a, an excellent transfer. So there you have it. The Lost World looks excellent in 4K. Universal did a great job pretty much in all of these movies.